Okay, it's Mr. Omar again. Here in part 4 we're going to create an enemy and we're going to get it to chase our player sprite around. Or our player object, I should say. So the first thing I need is a sprite for this enemy, which is a look. It's clothes for it. So I'm going to load one up and in fact there we go. There is the shark. So, looks like a shark. We save it. Now, we need to make an object. So create an object and I'm going to call it um, enemy object to be consistent with player object and I'm going to give it a sprite which is the shark. Now I need to give it some actions so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event and I'm going to say whenever there is a key press of any sort I want it to move but instead of moving in a particular direction I'm going to use this one up here which is move towards now, I don't just want it moving randomly around or in some predictable way because that's too easy. So what I'm going to do is have it move towards the player object. So what I do is I type the name of that object, which is player object dot x for the x-axis and player underscore object dot y and I'll give it a move speed of 4. So there we go and I click OK and uh, I don't think there's any particular reason for it to stop. So I will make it, will I make it solid? No, but I'll make it visible and I'll press OK. Now what I need to do is I need to go down into the room and I need to add some of these objects. So there's the room and what I'm going to do, it says, um, so objects up here in the object tab, object to add, I will make enemy object and one can start there and one can start there and let's save that by clicking on the tick and let's run the level and see if it works so it's compiling it's having a bit of a think and putting all the data together splash screen of course now when I move there we go as I'm moving now you'll notice that when I stop when I'm pressing the button it just keeps moving in that direction so it only actually kicks in when I press the button. So if I go there and stop, so what I might actually do, it's a bit of an interesting question, is what I might say is I'll give it a second action. So when any key is released, so add event, key release, so when any key is released, we will also make it move towards there. So that's the player object so that it's not quite so easy just to get away from it. So that's player object X and player object Y and let's make it move, let's make it move a bit faster once you stop. So OK, OK and we run it again. And so this is what you do with your game, you keep making little changes and run it again and see what it looks like. OK, so nobody's moving yet but as soon as I move, they move. And when I stop, they change direction. Okay, so far so good, we have an enemy and it follows us.